I saw the Antichrist system set up in the land, and I heard nobody believes I'm coming back soon. We must remember that it's not how good you begin a race, but how well you finish the race. They're going to start uh, accusing and blaming Christians for the troubles that we're going to have in the darkness. We are going to shine brighter still. And that's the kind of church that's going to be uh, in the last days. A glorious church. God is going to do supernatural things in this hour if we will believe Him and trust Him. I'd like to welcome Pastor Brett Leonard and his wife, Pastor Lydia Leonard. Pastor Lydia, I'm going to start with you. Uh, you had many dreams, many visions from the Lord. And uh, whatever the Lord has laid on your heart concerning this subject and that our audience needs to know today. Pastor Brenda, we are in the last days. Um, and the Lord has shown me in many dreams and visions uh, the, the end time scenarios playing out. Um, the Lord has shown me uh, the, the first three writers of Revelations chapter 6. Um, the, the seals being opened and uh, I you know it we are in that time and it's just going to continue and, and culminate uh, as as things unfold before us <clears throat> a few years ago uh, in a, one of our uh, church services I was worshiping the Lord and Jesus spoke to me so clearly and he said um, the church in America is going to suffer great persecution. And it was like, this is what is coming. And at the time, I remember thinking, well, how, you know, how can that be? You know, in a, in a, in a free country like America, where we are given such religious freedom, how can this be happening? How can this happen to us, you know? And mm. so... Uh, one of the visions that the Lord gave me last, well, it's the beginning of this year. The Lord gave me this vision, and I heard in this vision, what is happening is that Christians will be held responsible. And so this is a warning here that as things unfold, uh, they're going to start uh, accusing Christians and blaming Christians for the troubles that we're going to have. Uh, because lack of food is coming. The Lord has shown me lack of food um, is coming. Um, lack of, of provisions, just like we have just seen, uh, a, you know, a brief kind of like a wakening up, you know, hey, this can really happen here where there can be shortages, if nothing else, because people are ransacking the stores out of fear. Um, but it's going to get worse, and Christians are going to become targets. <clears throat> Another vision that the Lord gave me uh, last October of 2019. In this vision, I saw the Antichrist system set up and running in the land. It was here, and it was operating. And I heard, nobody believes I'm coming back soon. This is all <laughs> this is all to prepare the bride it's to prepare us and to get us ready for the coming of the Lord right So one last thing I wanted to share which I had just a few weeks ago I was uh, awake during the night and I was praying and I went into a vision and in the vision I walked over to the door uh, of my room that looks outside and when I opened the door it was complete darkness and uh, now in in real life when I look outside that door at night there are street lights yes there there's the porch light there's light outside but in my vision it was complete darkness and in that complete darkness um, the Lord was saying, you know, that we, the darkness has co now come. It's here. Mm -hmm. It's here. And it's going to intensify and it's going to get darker. But in the darkness, what the Lord has shown me is that in the darkness, 
we are going to shine brighter still. Amen. And this is, this is going to be a time of great pressure, uh, a time of great hardship, but out of it is going to come the, the spotless bride. Out of this is going to come the church that is going to overcome the darkness. And uh, so even though this is a message of warning, there, there's a message of hope here in that there's a purpose for all of this. Absolutely. Just like Christ dying on the cross so that he and raising again for us, that we die with him and we are risen with him. This is the, it's the same principle, the great trial that is coming upon all of us and upon all the world is to perfect the body of Christ, to perfect the saints so that we will walk in the glory of God with Jesus. So, you know, I see this as an exciting, glorious time. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to add to, and by the way, if anyone watching would like to hear more of uh, Pastor Lydia and Pastor Brett's visions and dreams, they are on Clarion Call Ministries, and you'll want to find them and follow them. She's only put out a few because she's very careful about what she releases, but uh, I just had a thought in mind because one of my spiritual daughters told me this week she dreamed. Uh, she saw intense starvation here in the United States of America because war was going to come, and I believe that's going to be true. And I re was reminded of a vision you had about a skeleton. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can just brief over that before we turn it over to Pastor Brett. Okay, so in this vision, I saw a skeleton sitting on a sidewalk, leaning up against a building. And... The skeleton was holding a newspaper in its hands. And at the, the foot, at the right foot of the skeleton was the balance. And in this vision, the Lord was speaking of economic collapse. It's the, the um, uh, black horse of Revelations chapter 6 that our economy is going to take a great hit. The economies of the world are going to take a great hit. And this is going to be allowed because uh, Satan is going to be allowed to reign for a season and cause great pressure on the earth. But this is, the refi this is to a refining that's going to take place. But God is going to be with his people. I am totally convinced of Amen. that. God is going to be with his people. God is going to help us. God is going to do supernatural things in this hour if we will believe him and trust him. God is going to rain down manna on his people. He's going to provide supernaturally. So let's get into the word of God and let's get into prayer Amen. and let's love Jesus with all our heart because he's going to be with us in this, in this dark time. And when you say with God's people, are you talking about average Joe Christian, or are you talking about uh, a people who, you know, have a, a total commitment to live or die for Christ? Because I, I feel in my heart, you know, you saw the balances, which is the old uh, uh, way of balancing and, and weighing things. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your opinion on that? Well, um, yes, I mean, um, we need to be living pure, holy lives. We we need to be pursuing a life of holiness. That's what his word teaches us. That's what Jesus taught us. And he, he, his blood makes us holy and pure and washes away our sin. Uh, but if we are, are, you know, just playing games with God, you know, like, well, God is going to forgive me. I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. um, that's not the way it works. Right. That's not the way it works in God's kingdom. And then when you really study the scriptures, you'll find that out. Yeah, that's know? not covenant relationship. No, no. That's, so. that's yeah. And so we need to be walking uh, close to the Lord. We need to press in Amen. in this day and be walking close to him uh, because uh, his holiness, yes. his holiness is uh, what we must have. It says without it, we can't see him.